Today for the Saturday Smorgasbord, I wanted to address one of the most common questions I'm asked, and that's simply, what does your iPod look like? Well, in the most literal sense, it looks like this. I don't want the fancy iPod touch, I don't want any of that stuff. All I want is a lot of space for a lot of music. So what I did is I decided I'd let you guys know what the top 10 most played songs on my iPod are, but there's a catch to it. That's actually my second iPod, my first one I had for almost six years, and thanks to the magic of Last FM, more than 60,000 plays of my music have been recorded, so I went there to check out exactly what really is the most listened to song on my iPod. Coming in at 10th place is Gogol Bordello's I Would would never want to be young again off of their Gypsy Punk's Underworld Strike record. The energy on this one's insane. It's vintage Gogol Bordello, and hopefully on their next record, they return to this raw sound. At number nine is Bjork's amazing track, Headphones, off of her post record. Since the early 90s, this has been one of my favorite songs. The mood, the sounds, and the lyrics are as good as they get, and I just can't express how much I love this song. At number eight is Jerry Lee Lewis doing High School Confidential from Live at the Star Club Hamburg. In my opinion, this is one of the two greatest live recordings in history, and this is the best song Song on it. If you've never heard it, I cannot recommend highly enough that you check it out because it sounds like Jerry Lee Lewis is trying to destroy his piano on this one. At number seven is an all-time classic, and it's Patsy Cline's rendition of Crazy. If you don't fall in love with this song, something's wrong with your ears. It's that simple. At number six, we have Generation X coming off of their self-titled debut, and it's the song Kiss Me Deadly. This is one of those songs that so many people know, but very few people know the origins of, and in my opinion, the original remains the best. At number six is the band that may be my all-time favorite. It's White Riot from the the Clash's self-titled debut. To put it simply, this is a minute and 56 seconds of punk perfection, and even if you're not into punk, check this one out. You won't be disappointed. At number four is a much more recent song that has certainly pushed its way up through the listings on my iPod because it's that good, and it's Grinderman's Palaces of Montezuma off of their second record. I've gone on and on before about how much I love Grinderman. Hell, I even flew to Belgium just to see him, and this is one of the greatest pieces they ever put together. The lyrics, the sounds, the imagery, it's all amazing. At number three is another one of those songs that's always been in my life and it's just phenomenal. It's Portishead's Glory Box off of their dummy record. Anyone who's heard this right now is probably shaking their head and smiling because you know how amazing this track is. If you've never heard it, get some headphones and prepare yourself for one of the most gorgeous musical experiences ever. When it came down to the top two places, I had an idea of what two songs they'd be, but I didn't know what order they'd be in. And at number two is none other than the mighty Black Flag and their classic track, Rise Above from the Damaged Record. Like so many people, this track sums up how I live my life and has been an inspiration from the first time I heard it. The energy, the lyrics, everything about this just says grab life by the horns. If you don't know this, come on. I listen to it all the time, so should you. In the number one spot, the most listened to song on my iPod over the last probably half a dozen years is the only performer to show up twice on the list. It's not surprising if you know me because it's the great Joe Strummer and the track from his streetcore record, Arms Aloft. When it comes to lyrics that have had a massive impact on my life, there's no question this is number one. The spirit on this song, the vocals, everything is just perfect. Streetcore is a phenomenal record, and this is undoubtedly my favorite track on there. So there's the answer to your question. What do I listen to the most? Well, apparently it's those 10 tracks. I strongly recommend all of them, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.